not bad. Seven o'clock, all packed away. Game face back on. Um, quarter past seven now, I'm ready to go. And I plotted out a route on my GPS, which is an alternative route. Because I'm going a specific route, it cuts out the falls of Glomac, which I ummed and ahed over for quite some time, but I'm... It looks to be shorter and a lot less dangerous and I made my mind up this morning when it was pissing it down. I thought, ah, I just don't fancy taking it on. With knee, with my knee feeling a little bit brittle. So I've plotted a route to go straight over the top and a, a, there's a river crossing at the end of it. It's a long day nonetheless. There's no easy days. There is no easy days. From now, once you're a bit beaten up and legs and feet and that are a bit beaten up, there is no easy days, so... <laughs> right. Leave no trace. Wonderful little spot. Let's have a quick walk. I tell you what, this is the first few steps. Oh, you think, how am I going to do this, man? Ankles, the tops of my feet. Look at this. What's your name? My name's Tim Clement. Tim just rocked up with a can. What is it? Just 6.2% clobber, but unfortunately I've had to say no because we know what I'm doing. <laughs> Waiting till, to, till the end, but big up, mate. Knuckles. Yeah, yeah, good luck. Nice. Bless him. Oh, bless him. Bless Tim. That was Mars, mate. Car pulled up, I thought, hey up, why go on here? I thought I was going to have to deploy the machinery, but it was a uh, friend, not foe. So thanks for that, Tim, uh, offering me a beverage. Couldn't take it though, because uh, I'm not drinking until I can have my can of Northern Mung. I did a trip to Scotland with Joey D, um, and we camped on, well, it's one of the most beautiful camp spots I've ever camped. And he says it's just over there. <laughs> so it's not far away. So that blew my mind. I'll tell you what, Tim. You've put a little spring in these uh, in these battered ankles. So thank you, mate. <sighs> right, onward. Onward and most certainly upward. Medic! I've de-rained jacketed and uh, took all my rain gear off. Uh, Desperate for some water, but there's a little sort of brooky thing there coming under under track. So I might, I'll get some from there, but I'll definitely filter it and boil it, and then have a bit of porridge before I tackle this bit. I feel a bit fatigued. It looks all right. Ironically, the stand can sometimes make it a little bit less sturdy. Not doing much bants today, because I'm just in... Um, I'm in game mode, I feel like. I'm aware that this next section is a bit of a, a troublesome one. Or it can be a bit... Well, it's a long day anyway, and I'm aware of it. <laughs> so I'm just channeling all my energies into just doing doing the right things methodically, checking my maps, getting enough hydration, enough food, whatever. Just taking it real. So there's not not so much not so, not so much joking about tent meals, high energy, super seed and red berry. A hearty, wholesome and fruity porridge of sunflower, pumpkin and linseeds sprinkled with raspberries and strawberries. Calories at just 113 grams, ladies and gentlemen. I give you this. A sample sent to me by the Fell Store. Thank you very much. Here we go, rocket launcher. 
that well already, you see, that's boiled already. So quick. Seven minutes, they say. Why if I put a coffee sachet in that? I'm gonna... No. Do you know what I am? I'm gonna put a coffee sachet in it just for the boost. Just for caffeine boost. He's done it as well, madman, absolute madman. Should have tasted it before to get an idea, but I like to get up and everything's squared away and then hike and then the breakfast and brushing your teeth and all that is like a little reward, like a little rest reward. That wolf inch. The first aid kit is pretty extensive really. It mainly focuses on the feet. I've got a shitload of compedes, plasters, um, ibuprofen, anti-diarrhea tablets, antiseptic wipes, just painkillers. That's it really. A mirror. I've used that a couple of times. It's good just for checking for ticks or if you get something in your eye, if you think you've got something in your eye, you can have a little look with that. And, uh, and then a tick key, and that's it. Uh, and some uh, some of this stuff which I've been using. It's like uh, a wrap for your, for your joints. And my sponge just took it into the mat during the day. And I use this on the morning just to wipe the condensation or rain or whatever off the tent. That's nice. I've probably ruined it by putting coffee in because coffee and straw and fruit mm. but mm -hmm. good clobber what have we got here meds I'm never going to finish this hike if I keep stopping to explore all the skulls and bones I find. Look at this medic! Oh, he's he. Oh, that is mint. That's no dying a deer. That looks more like... Pfft. What is that? With the horns coming out there like a... It looks like a goat. Want to be right? Ugh. Would I be right in saying that that is a goat? That's so cool. Gotta get a photo of that. Sound, mate. The goat. If if we were on the last, if I only had a little bit to go, I would. I'd strap that to my bag, but I can't. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. Uh, the tips on here, real soft, uh, collect loads of these, full of vitamins. Real soft. Mm. And good to snack on as well, another little thing that, you know, I'm picking up as I go. 
stops me having to have a main meal and I know it's only little but it's just got the vitamins and stuff that I need as I go obviously it's no substitute for a for the calories you get off a real meal but it is good it's good for morale right let's crack on look how beautiful it is just stopped at this waterfall <laughs> Just got caught out. Just got caught out in a big one. Just pulling along, minding my own business, and then the heavens just opened. It's not so bad now, it is still raining, but. Woo! Luckily, I could just take shelter under these trees, sort out my wet weather gear. Right here I go, look, waterproof, wet stuff. Um, so that goes all the way up there. The peak, the water just comes off the peak and it stops it going in here. I've got the waterproof backpack. I mean, waterproof rain cover, which is mint. I will do a review on everything. I should... There's going to be a lot of reviews coming up for all you... Uh, so that's good for all you review nerds. And I am a... I am a, a gear nerd at heart, so I will be going deep on all the stuff I've got. Um, anyway, so I've got the waterproof, the Berghaus Deluge trousers, Mountain Warehouse and uh, Ron Hill. It's like a running waterproof top. It's mint actually. And I've got this on the front, it's not waterproof, water resist water resistant. So I've put a dry bag inside here, and then I've even got a sandwich bag in the dry bag, and then a, a thin sponge along the bottom here, and that just deals with any standing water that's there. And then and that's it really, and then I just don't wear a t-shirt under here because you don't want bare skin touching it because you'll just sweat so. I've just took my t-shirt off and I've just got my rab layer on just so that it, nothing's touching me and that's it I'll put you come and get in here you come on get in Even you're not rain gear, mate. Ah. Down there, pissing it down. You get round the corner and you, you know, spend a good five or ten minutes just getting all the stuff waterproof, getting ready for a, a constant downpour. And it's, well, <laughs> you can't grumble, it's blue sky, but it takes a lot of your time just, uh, even just getting bag off and on is a bit of a chew, man, when you. When you're wanting to be getting somewhere. So I'm in boiling bag stuff for now. <laughs> I'm in bin bag. <laughs> for now. I've just eaten a load of them spruce tips, mate. They were de absolutely delicious. Uh, truly, truly a taste of spring. Well, that's twice now I've done full rain suit and then back to t shirt because it's too hot when it ain't raining. So this beautiful track that I've been winding my way up, now, I mean, it doesn't even show on it. Look at that, I can't even see. It's pretty much a vertical. It's insane. So we cut off up here onto the tops, um, onto the, the moorland and the bogginess, because it's been a while since we've been in bogs, in it. So let's get up into bogs. So I made it out of the out of the woods, kept going up and up and up, and then we've plateaued, and now it looks like the descent down towards the river. So this bit, going off the map, is gonna be very steep. So I thought I'd do a little vlog now, just in case it's the last vlog I ever do. Uh, if it is the last vlog I ever do, and this gets found by someone, if you're watching this, uh, can you upload it please to YouTube and can you just say, can you tell everyone to like, share 
and subscribe and can you tell everyone to hit the note the bell notification please down there um yeah rest in peace hazy i guess right onward down here feeling strong it's like as i said before i'm sorry if i keep repeating myself my mind's gone a bit to mush from six days of hiking but you when you wake up you're like i can't do this man feet are so stiff and it takes you takes me a good couple of k to get into it and then once i get into it i have a little sweet spot in the middle of the day where i just feel like a terminator where i could just keep going i'm just like nothing can stop me and then then the second then towards the latter part of the day just i just <laughs> It all starts to sort of crumble away like a nice lolly that's been left in the sun. Right, that's not a very good analogy, but onward down here, let's go. <sighs> Just snaking my way down this, uh, it's pretty steep, as you can see. And then I'm going to cross this river and hit this road to the left. That's not even the top of it. Coming down there was real talk. Slippy on the rocks. Oh, not good on trotters. There's this river to cross now. That was so off piste, man. So off piste. Just had to make a lot of it up as I went along on that bit. Looks a bit faster flowing here than it did on to the one. Hey up, mate. Sheepy, sheep. Ah, oh, it's even. Ah, oh, it's even better down there. Look, real talk on ankles in it. <sighs> That's got to be hardest part of the day, though. I think. Now, well, I say that depends because sometimes doing all that technical stuff, you you know, you're not putting the miles in, but you're not, you know. I don't know, everything's pretty difficult. The, the technical stuff is difficult in its own way, but then when you get onto like tarmac road and you're just putting the miles in, that cranks you. That does, that hurts different parts here. Right, it's a bit fast there, isn't it, guy? Right, we'll go here, because this is like stone bank here, so there's like two little separate ones to do. There's not so deep. I'm a bit fatigued, so I'm not gonna carry you across with me. I'll put you in, <laughs> I'll put you back in your bag because there is a good chance I'll stack it on this one. So I'll put you in bag and we'll uh, there, there, and onto the road. There we go. Made it across the river. Ah. Oh. A tough one like it's 25 past two so that's taken a while but it's just this track now and i think this might even lead to a road i'm not sure but oh gotta get used to just the different terrain again getting to me getting to my zone and all the aches and pains and focus on the destination that's where we're going straff carry no don't focus on the destination focus on the journey get philosophical because it's all about the journey in it in life sheep look yeah lads you all right Look at this, man. Oh, they've got babies as well. <laughs> Highland cows. Stunning animals, man, but they don't half look a bit scary. With horns on them, they've got babies with them. I just don't know, mate. Not too into it, to be honest. But I'm just gonna have to go for it. Yeah. I'm confident, lads. 
There we go, look, confident. Oh my God, look at the size of that, Jan. Wee! Highland cows carving pass with extreme caution. Oh, what do you mean? They've all got calves as well, right. Pass with extreme caution. Oh, I will. I'll pass extremely cautious, bro. Sweet gate, by the way. Check out latch and locks, link below. Uh, uh, farmers are there in tractor, look. What will they make of me with daft, with daft art and oh, hiking gear on? This lad here, look, he is on a mission, look. He's coming straight for me. Oh, oh I don't fancy it like. We'd be reet, won't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm just. This one here, look. Go on. You go that way, lad. <laughs> hey, back, 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 back. <clears throat> That's it, lad. That's it. Ah, I am coming for your thing. I'll go this way, mate. <laughs> There's grief, look. You're all right, you're all right. You stay there. <laughs> you're all right. <sighs> we made it, we're right. It's thumbs up for farmer, look. Yes! <laughs> I think he was coming to save me. <laughs> I think he was coming to save old Azo's bacon, didn't it? Well, I think he was coming to save that cow, to be honest. He's, uh, I've got a reputation in, amongst the highlands. They know, one headbutt killed it. Had a killed it, one headbutt. What basically you've just witnessed there is that those two lads in that digger tractor were just looking after their livelihood because they know that if that big unit had have stepped up and I'm not even joking we'd have just had met him toe to toe like that, just like that oh, not even with forehead, just with face oh, just face into him bang so they've saved his life there so good on you it was probably a she so i would have headbutted her i felt bad about it though but anyway they've, they've, they've solved a lot they've they've intervened basically and they've stopped some terrible atrocity from happening a bit of excitement medic <laughs> semi-medic medish Look at this, this is the field. Not much in it, just a few sheep. And just, what, just this lad here, look. And I'll tell you this, having worked uh, on a farm, as a landscaper, worked on a farm. Well, having been around farms, I know that that is a lad to avoid. He's in the field. He's got the ring in the nose. It's hench, mate. If it was a stare down with him, I would have look at nut bag on it as well. Just absolutely, it's like a Tesco shopping bag. I'd hate to have to knock him out. Like, is that a big man? Get on my rain gear on. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh. Seems like forever on this tarmac is awful. I'd rather be off road and you get used to it and the tarmac is just. 
It hurts the bottom of your feet for some reason, I don't know. It's a, it's a trudge, man. It's a trudge. And then we're plodding on to Strathcarran, is it? Yeah, Strathcarran. Next stop, Strathcarran. Oh, I might not get there. What time is it? Because coming off at top took me forever. It's 10 to 4. 10 to 4, 10 to 5, 10 to 6. Give it two hours, mate. And if I'm nowhere near, if I'm, I'll just keep whatever in two hours. We'll see how far I can get anyway. Right, bottled it. Fucked. Knackered. Set up down by here. And these two, we've got another two land shams, look. Look at the state of it. Three of them. Eh? What's your name, mate? Andy. Andy. Shout out Andy. He's a subscriber. And his pal, what's your pal's name? My brother, Alex. And his brother, Alec. Alex. Alex. Alec. Alec and Andy. Uh, yeah, shout out them too. Look at state of us, all in our... They just rocked up. It's like going to a party and then having the same shirt on as someone at a party. Embarrassing. But there you go, I'm just going to bed down here, get some scran on and an early dart tomorrow. Kurt state at lads. <laughs> I have to keep my noise down because randomly got a couple of land hands next door. Where'd I wake up? Camped here, woke up next to the lock, and hiked past uh, Morvich campsite, which I was heading for, but tapped out there after big meal. <laughs> up through this wood, and then the normal path goes this way to the falls. I plotted into my GPS this way, this zigzag, and up. As soon as uh, I'm going this way and not this way, it'll be quicker just to go straight over the top, which I did, but it was tough, mate. There was no... You just lost the path all around here and just had to sort of make my own way down, across the river, along here, past the lovely little phone box. Keep going. Once you get on the tarmac, it is a nightmare for the feet. I kept going all the way along this town, mate. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Up through some dude's sort of house on a driveway around the back of there. And then here, yeah, as soon as I got as soon as I got here, I was just like, right mate, look for somewhere to camp because it's getting dark and legs are shat it. But as you can see by how tight these lines are, it was pretty steep. It was all really boggy. Until I drop down to this bit, right here, and that's where I am now. Yeah, then we wake up in the morning, crack on again. <sighs> uh, yeah, turn the bell on if you want, <laughs> subscribe if you want, see you at next one if you want. Thanks for watching.